this conference. We're here today with Vice President Skinas to send a strong message, a strong message that we must not let our guard down. We have from the beginning, and I have always stressed that we need to look at the science, and the science speaks for itself. We still have COVID-19 amongst us. We have come a long way, and we recognize that. But no one can predict what lies ahead in the next few months and weeks. Last month, we saw member states lifting containment measures and citizens returning to what I have always called a new normal, much needed by everyone. However, we know and see that member states are reporting smaller and bigger outbreaks localized in many member states. So we are here today to say that preparedness is key, especially before the autumn and winter months. Once again, we're here to call on member states, but we're here to also call on European citizens that we need to have joint actions and we need to be vigilant. We need to have testing and contact tracing. We need to be able to have improved public health surveillance, health capacities, and ensure that we have personal protective equipment. We need to prevent and not only to contain. This is why in this communication, we are asking member states to run stress tests in order to see that these systems are all in place before we have, a, and if we have, an increase of uh, new cases. Stress tests for contact tracing, for testing, for public health surveillance. We need a clear overview of the needs by member states in order to know the stocks of medical equipment and of um, necessary stockpiles. In the last few months, each and every day, we witnessed the tragic loss of death, a loss of life. We, in, we witnessed the impact on the vulnerable groups. We witnessed the impact on societies and on economies. We now need to address how we can break the chain of transmission. We need to avoid generalized lockdowns and we need to protect our economies and our societies and our citizens from a, another a wave like the one that we had in the previous months. Vice President Sinas mentioned the interaction of the seasonal flu with COVID-19. Uh, yes, I call it the cocktail effect. And uh, this is something that we may be encountering, that we did not encounter early on in the year, four months ago, and we are raising in this communication the need for member states to be prepared for this through different uh, ways of ensuring that they have adequate uh, supplies of flu vaccines to start their campaigns much earlier to vaccinate, but also to address um, vaccine hesitancy. We also need today, and this is stressed in the communication, to address individual responsibility. We need to go on physical distancing. We need to wear face masks where this is not possible. We need to continue to uh, use hand hygiene. This is a new normal, but we have shown through solidarity, through personal discipline, and through community spirit that we are able to fight COVID-19. We are facing a global pandemic. We do not have the right to say, this is too much, I'm too tired, this is enough. This would mean giving up all the sacrifices that have been made by everyone, by member states, by economies, by citizens, by the healthcare professionals over the last few months. This would mean risking lives. So we need to build up a shield, a shield that will protect the most vulnerable. Each and every one of us can make a difference. A communication cannot beat COVID-19. But in this pandemic that we have been facing, communication is key. And many of the messages that we are sending out today is to join again with member states, as we have been for the last four months, continuously, in order to be able to coordinate and to prevent rather than contain. But where we have incidences, to be able to contain effectively 
so we have very general lockdowns. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you very much, Vice President. I will now open the floor to you. Um, uh, as I said, uh, we're going to focus the questions today on the areas which have been discussed here. If you have any questions that go beyond, I would suggest you keep them and raise them at the College readout.